Today we're going to look at velocity versus projectile weight and sling length. So I've got five projectiles all the way from 100 grams to 200 grams. These are in 25 gram steps. These are just uh, rusty balls or balloons filled with sand. And I've got three slings. 19 inch, 26 inch, and a 38 inch. That's about 50 centimeters, 65 to 70 centimeters, and just, just shy of a meter. Why those sling lengths? Because that's what I have. But I'm gonna take a look at uh, how fast each of these sling lengths can get a ball or get, get one of these projectiles and put the, the energies and the momentums up on the screen. And I'll probably do a few, uh, a few sets on each, uh, at least three, to try to get an average. Um, gonna warm up a little bit and then we'll get going. Okay, so I've got my pocket radar to uh, try to get the lower speeds of this shorter sling. And to try to make it fair, I guess, between the slings, I'm just gonna go as hard as I can for all of them. Hopefully the uh, short sling doesn't get, the data doesn't get messed up because I'm not quite fully warmed up yet, but yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, here we go. And hopefully this muddy ground doesn't mess me up too bad. But I'm just gonna go in order from lowest to highest. So, 100 grams. Oh, that might be hard. Did I pick anything up? Picked it up, but I didn't hear anything, so I'm gonna turn the volume up. It does anything? This is gonna be tough with this wet ground. Okay, with how muddy this is, I think I'm just going to do two per sling. Okay, try a 26 inch, 70 centimeter, I think. 100 grams. Okay, 38 inch sling, almost one meter. I better check it. I don't know what the speed is. I want to make sure this thing can catch it. I'm gonna 
go better than the last one. Another 50 grams. Seventy-five grams. Two hundo. Okay. Well, we'll uh put those all together and see what the energies are and put it up on the screen. I don't know how it was, but it wasn't super fast because it's so mucky out here. Uh, I think on a better day, better conditions, I could go faster, but it's a good comparison between all the slings and all the projectile weight. So at least it's kind of an apples to apples comparison. So what did we learn from this experiment? It seems that long slings can get projectiles to faster speeds than short slings. That's not surprising. What I think is a little bit counterintuitive is that at higher projectile weights, the velocity decreases, but despite that velocity decrease, you actually get more energy and more momentum into the projectile. Now, I think when you feel the difference between a light projectile and heavy projectile when you're slinging it, you can, you can feel this difference because you can get a lot more force against a heavy projectile than you can a light projectile. So this is kind of interesting. Um, and I will say, despite having lower energies and lower speeds with short slings, short slings do feel a little bit more forgiving on the body when you go to these higher projectile weights. Um, not always, but a lot of the time. And so short slings have their place. Uh, and you know there is some differences between consistency with a short sling and a long sling. But <clears throat> this is an interesting experiment. I hope you found it useful. Uh, stay tuned for more.